Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Long time, no vlog, but I'm gonna catch you guys up on what has been going on. I came in the bedroom, so maybe I can have a little bit of time to have some quiet background. K, uh, not Cadence. Cadence and Jaden are out of school. Carson and Cam are in there watching cartoons on Netflix, but um, it's Monday. So on Thursday, let me see what day that was. Not this last Thursday. The 30th. Thursday, January 30th. Cadence got sent home from school with lice. You guys, I have dreaded this day for so long. For so long. If you have little girls, they're bound to get lice if they go to public school. It's just, I, I got it when I was in school. And I remember my mom doing treatments on my hair and it being a nightmare. But going through a mixed girl's hair, I cannot. I just, she has so much hair. You guys already know. I feel like there's something on my glasses giving me like a smudge. But anyways, it was a freaking nightmare. So, Thursday, we, Thursday, she got sent from, sent down from school. That evening, uh, my mom went and got a box of red so that we could do that. So we did that treatment. I went through her hair literally from the time she got home until we did the treatment at night. Nonstop. I want to say it's talking about, it's like making my head itch, but I don't have it. My mom checked me because I was like, why am I itching? And I'm already itchy as it is because I have like extremely, extremely dry scalp. Um, like once a week I use like head and shoulders just like to do a really moisturizing wash in my hair. But anyways, I went through her hair for like four hours nonstop. Poor girl was like tired of me digging in her head. But it was mainly eggs. I think the first day I looked, I found like two live ones and so we did the treatment sent her back to school so when you when they get sent home from school with lice they check them first thing before they go in the school just so it doesn't spread she said a girl had it a few weeks ago so i don't know if that's when it happened and then it's just it wasn't it like she didn't even have it bad okay <laughs> Carson came in here because she heard me talking and I like shut off the camera and I hit it and I was like acting like I was on the phone so she would leave because she would be trying to get all up in the vlog. You can have your time later. Anyways, I'm going to have to talk a little bit quieter. So anyways, um, she said a little girl had it a few weeks ago and got sent home so I don't know how she got it but um, and, and then I was like, you know, Cadence didn't even have it that bad. Every time I would look, it would mainly be eggs. And I would literally pull every single little thing I saw. Even if I knew it wasn't an egg, I pulled it out. And I think I found like two live ones. So anyways, thank God she didn't have it that bad. So we did the treatment. Sent her back to school Friday. Nurse called me Friday morning. I found a live one. You gotta come get her. She came home. I literally looked in her hair right when she got home and found nothing. I looked for like an hour and a half and found nothing. All I found was eggs. Didn't find any live ones. She said when the nurse looked through her hair, she said she found one, but she didn't take it out. So I'm like, why wouldn't you take it out? Please take it out because they're so hard to find and they're so hard to catch. Like, ugh. So anyways, that was Friday. Every day through the weekend, last weekend not this weekend that just passed but the weekend before every single day i looked through her hair morning and evening and um didn't find anything um sent her back to school monday called me monday morning found another live lice i actually took it out of her hair because i talked with her and i was like where are you finding them because Kay said she would part her hair right down the middle and she would find one like within 30 seconds. And I'm like, how in the world? I lit, I even had my filming lights shining on her head so I could have amazing light to see. And the comb that comes with the packaged rid, the little purple plastic one, does not work in her hair because her hair is so curly. I couldn't brush it all the way through. It would like get caught in the end. Hold on. Okay, so that comb did not work very well. They came back in here again. So anyways. 
the comb wasn't working so I literally manually had to go through and pull out of her hair so we sent her back Monday she found it like I said she found another live one this time she actually took it out and put it on a tape like on a piece of tape so I could see and I went through her hair again I couldn't do the rid again because you have to wait a week seven to ten days after but I was just like so over it and so over washing her stuff a million thousand times <laughs> that I called her pediatrician and was like, can we please get the prescription one? Because the nurse at her school said they make a prescription one that kills the eggs too. And I've learned so much about lice over the span of this whole ordeal. So anyways, she went to the doctor. They looked through her hair. He just saw nits. He did not see anything live. He said it was very, very barely, like she barely had anything. It was not a big case at all to where she couldn't be able to go to school. But I totally understand why they were sending her home. I, w I love that they do that because now I know that if someone has lice, they're not, they're not just gonna let them go to school anyways. So anyways, she couldn't go back to school um, like originally until we sent proof of like a receipt or a box top of the RID treatment. Um, and then after that, all they could do was check her head and if they found anything live, she had to go home. So she came home, She got. I sent her Friday, they sent her back home, I sent her Monday, they sent her back home, I sent her Tuesday and she actually stayed, um, which was awesome. And I also, I was talking to the nurse like every single day, like keeping her up to date with everything saying, cause the pediatrician originally said that the lice prescription treatment was on back order. And I was like, no way you better find, <laughs> like you better find a way or give me like an alternate. They're coming back, but I can't keep shutting this off or I'll be here forever. Um, so anyways, she went to the doctor, we got the prescription treatment and we did that Thursday. This charger, take it back. Um, did the prescription treatment Thursday and she has not itched one single day and I've been looking through her head and I have not found anything. She's been going to school just fine. Um, the day that they stopped finding live ones in her, okay that they stopped finding live ones, they stopped sending her home, and they stopped checking her. Now they're just uh, watching, having the teachers just, you know, if they notice her scratching, then she'll get sent back to the nurse to get checked. But she has not been scratching at all. She was literally like going to town. And the day that I did the prescription treatment, I went through her hair anyways, um, right before I did the treatment just to see, and I found three live ones. So I don't know if they like, hatched but no because you're gonna fall um you want to get down come here come here and i'll put you down anyways i don't know if there were ones that were okay well then sit right here ones that were hatching or if they were already in there but they cannot lay eggs for up to two to three weeks after they okay go ahead fall off the bed and bunk your head is that what you want is that what you want? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Come here. You're gonna fall. I hate when he gets that close to the edge of the bed. He just he just thinks he can do whatever. Say hi guys. So that's what we've been dealing with and at the same time trying to keep her away from Carson so she doesn't give it to Carson too. So. <laughs> Camden, I love you. King Cam, do y'all see what he's, he's about to go off the edge of the bed. Come here before you fall. Come here, come give me a huggy. Can I have a huggy? No. Say hi guys. Say what's up. Y'all watch, watch this. Sit down. This is his favorite song. <laughs> I got it. Really? Yeah, you got that That's what we've been doing. In the meantime, I've just been uh, filming cleaning videos and Cincy videos. I, um... <laughs>
It's so gloomy here and rainy. Friday. Bah. Ball. It's wet outside. And that's it. Bah. We didn't do anything this weekend. Jaden had a game. They won 29 to 4, I think. They did awesome. Jaden's getting, hold on. Jaden's getting more aggressive. He's like more confident. Bah. We can't go outside, baby. It's wet. It's, it's raining. Bah. So, that, now it's Monday, and I, I, I wanted to vlog. Um, I need to do some cleaning in our closet. I don't know if I'm going to film it or not, but I need to um, organize my stuff because I know I don't have that much to where it's going to take up all those drawers, and I need a drawer. I need to make room for some wax because I've been working on my stock um, just to have stuff on hand for if people need anything. So, that's probably what I'm going to do today. It. No, no. Don't Push. touch it. No, no. Push it. Don't push it. Mommy. Oh, Joel's calling me. I'm gonna get you. 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 Can't get can I gotta get you. I gotta get you. First time I saw ya. You are not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah what the closet currently looks like and I don't like it I, I have three of these and they're just not utilized very well so I'm about to go through all this stuff because I have one over here too you just can't see it I'm about to break it down to two of these for my crafts craft stuff and then one of them I'm gonna put over here in this closet because this is like my scentsy closet it has like my boxes and that's like extra stuff uh the wrapping paper is going to stay in there i'm going to put the little drawer thing over here but that's where that's going to go and then i'm just going to organize this right now i have all of my packaging stuff right there for uh since orders like local ones there's like samples and thank you cards in there but i want all of my bars this is full of bars too yes and this is also full of bars. I just want it all in one spot. And then down here I have like pods and stuff. So I'm trying to get everything in one spot. I'm about to go through and I need a trash bag over here. Cam's eating so I don't have to worry about him coming in here. I want this whole thing to be used for towels again. Uh, we keep our wash rags in here since they're smaller and then like we'll do bubbles later. And then I put um, like the kids bath towels and extra regular size towels in here for the kids because their bathroom's real close to this closet. Um, I need to take this stuff out because it's 
It's for Kay's Valentine's Day. Yes, I need to go through it. So anyways, that is what I'm about to do. It's a freaking disaster in here. There's like holiday pillows up here, extra blankets, extra air mattresses. I'm just gonna organize it so much better so when you guys see this closet, it's going to look totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Peel away, got me moving through time and space. Your magic can be erased, can't be erased. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty neat. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do?
can I stay in the darkness? shirt on while I'm cleaning these closets where there's no air circulation but I'm finished and it looks so much better and it's just it's so organized I needed to do that so bad I have two Walmart trash or Walmart grocery bags full of trash Carson's doing her hair <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like Okay, so I refolded this and that and then stacked up the pillows. And then I ended up putting the toilet paper and uh, paper towels here. The little hand cleaner is back there and then the rags are here. I have to um, go ahead and fold a bunch of laundry and then the towels will be in here. Um, and this is what this looks like. I got all my stuff to one side. I, I wish we, I mean, I'm sure we can find like a random board because all these are our boards laid on top of here but then my vacuum won't fit so I just want to try to figure something out to where I can have something like that's level with this that I can put the toilet paper and paper towels with just so I can clear that space but I'll go ahead and go through the drawers so this is like all the kids extra school stuff for when they're doing their homework. Kay got these really cute erasers. They look like lipsticks if, if it's going to focus. There we go. Uh, she got these at TJ Maxx. It came with like a few in a pack. So those are there. And then we've got an extra eraser, extra pencils, a pencil sharpener, extra notebook paper, rubber bands. Um, and then we have like um, staples for the staple gun up here just because it's a shallow drawer. So that's in there. And here I have all of my different size envelopes. And here I have all gift wrapping stuff. So like tissue paper and extra gift bags. And like, cause sometimes I pick them up if they're really cheap on sale. And tape. You don't know how many times it has saved me to have gift wrapping here rather, excuse me, rather than having to run to the store. So there's tape and then down there are like Christmas labels. And then in here is like craft stuff, like string, um, sewing uh, pins, paint, a paint tray. Uh, this puts tags on clothes and just more paint and Mod Podge and hot glue gun. So there's that first one and I stacked it on top of this one. But in here I have more craft stuff. So ribbon, 
pipe cleaners, uh, fabric, a bunch of stuff like that. And then down here is all the P-L-A-Y-D-O-H. Here's my two trash bags. And then this is the closet I wanted to have all my Scentsy stuff in. I might move that box in here because it makes sense. Let me go ahead and do that. This is going to be like all my Scentsy stock. So the top two containers or drawers have bars. Down here I have stuff to make uh, samples and a receipt. And then um, this is bags. And then um, down here is random stuff that I've used uh, like for extras and packages. Like during Christmas I put some little cookie cutters in people's orders. Just, you know, extra little stuff like that. And then this is that box that I just moved that has all my stuff to do orders. And then up here I have this little plastic thing to store other stuff besides wax so right now I just have some soaps and some room sprays these are boxes that I use when I do my monthly boxes and that's it over here is wrapping paper it's gonna stay there and then this is where we keep our jackets it's all organized and Carson's over here doing her hair I'm about to put this tripod up get Cam out of the high chair because I'm sure he is ready I need to do all that laundry over there Anybody want to come do laundry? Hey, are you ready to get down? What is that? Yucky. Are you pulling your hair out? Don't do that. Ouchie. Oh, that needs to be swept up. Did you have a good snack? Hey, is your tummy full? Ear, yeah. Where's your eye? Uh -oh. Where's your eye? Uh -oh. uh oh. You're done playing the game? I really need to get this out of here. This is like people's orders that are pending that they have to pick up. I need to find a spot for those so I can get this box out of here. No. What matter? Cracker. You want to get down or you want more crackers? Huh? Fish. We don't have no fish. Mommy has to get more fish. You want some of these? There you go. Get them out. All right. Mmm. You like those crackers? Did you drink all your juice? No more juice? What do you say? More, please? No. Please. <laughs> okay, so I totally forgot that I have this Scentsy stuff over here too. It's on top of my little cubicle. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a spot for this too. I have all these uh, scent circles and some brochures. Back here I have extra stock and some more samples. Uh, light bulbs. I'm, I'm about to take this whole basket and uh, put it put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it in the what those drawers. Yes, I know. How long have man been asleep for? Long time? That many? <laughs> <laughs> it smells in here. Uh -huh. Do you have a poo, poo butt? Yes, I do. Do you have a poo, poo butt? Give me that. Mm. Give me that. Do you have a poo, -poo butt? Someone had a gun walk over. Do you have a poo, -poo butt? Do you have a bubble butt? I can't tell. Oh yeah, you do. I can smell it. Yeah, do you got poo-poo butt? Poo-poo okay. butt. Poo-poo butt. Poo-poo butt. <laughs> did you have a good nap? Boy, did you have a good nap? What do you think you're doing? Jumping on the bed? Are we supposed to jump on the bed? <laughs> Babe, come look at the closet. It's so beautiful. Organization goals. How was practice? No? What happened? Did you hurt yourself? What's up, Brody man? What's up, Brody man? <laughs> Lazy? Carsey boo? Okay. Cake a doo boo? Cake a doo boo? Okay, Cam? 
Is that yummy fish? Uncle Tim did a good job? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's acting like that because you were acting like that. You acting. No. <laughs> 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 you need help? Right. Say yummy. You're like. Say yummy. What's your name? Brody. Brody, how old are you? Five. Five? <laughs> I said, how old are you? Five. <laughs> He's three. He's trying to be Carson's age. So we just got back from my brother's. He fried some fish and it was so good. But today is like the, what is it? The gravity, some strong gravity thing that's going on to where you can stand up your broom and it will stay standing up. Joel said that you can stand it up anytime and my camera's about to die, so let me, let me try it. Slanted. I know. So how is it standing up by itself? You can do it. What? Magic. Abracadabra. Anyways, that's the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.